Hello athletes, families, friends, and coaches, and we want to welcome you to the Northeast Regional Championship hosted by the World Ninja League. At our regional championship, um, the athletes will be competing in two events, our flow course and our challenge course. Each wave this weekend, all the athletes will run their first course utilizing the flow course. This format will score athletes runs up until their first failure of the obstacle. The winner of the flow course will be the athlete that made it the furthest, the fastest. <clears throat> we will now begin the walkthrough for the um, flow course. We will start by introducing all of our obstacles and uh, we will state whether they have hands and feet uh, use or both. Remember that everything that is not mentioned is assumed out of play. And anything that is uh, mentioned in play will be utilized. Once we have provided a description of the obstacle, we will be able to provide a demonstration by our lovely course tester, Alex Begali. Um, in this course, no platforms are skippable due to close, uh, close proximity. And additionally, please remember, uh, it is the athlete's responsibility to engage the buzzer. The World Ninja League and NinjaWorks recommend a firm press of the buzzer. Um, and after it has been hit, our awesome Ninja Works lights, buzzer, and smoke will sound, signifying the successful press of the buzzer and an amazing course clear. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions about our course, uh, our World Ninja League staff on site can help you answer before any of your course runs. Best of luck. Let's move into the course. <clears throat> so for our first obstacle, we are going to have uh, the ascending steps here. You will start on that red start platform, which Alex is on currently. You will get the uh, three, two, one countdown and the beeps to be able to make your way on through. You will be able to utilize the tops uh, red parts of the ascending steps and your landing platform will be this tall black mat here. I am going to also explain the next two obstacles because we're gonna have Alex do all three in succession um, as it is a little flowy uh, to be able to get through it. So the second obstacle will be the same platform here. So this is a start and finish platform. So make sure you stay on it. You will then go from this start platform up to that ring and slide on down until you get to this red finish platform here. So this obstacle will be completed when you hit that start platform, use, utilize the ring and land on this platform. This is also a start and finish platform, so please do not overshoot it. Moving on to our third obstacle will be our tornado pole. So you will utilize this red platform here. You'll be able to utilize this bar only, and you will then land on this blue platform right here. That will be the completion of the tornado pole. We're gonna go back to Alex, which is gonna do a demonstration for the first three obstacles of the flow course. To complete the first three obstacles. Well done. Moving on to our next obstacle is going to be our work wall run. This will also be a start and stop platform, so please do not overshoot it. You want to stay on this platform. Uh, this will be your start platform. You'll be able to utilize the purple panel mat on the ground, the black um, work walls, and the little white piece here that's all in play. All the work wall is in play. Be able to run across. This rope will also be in play, and then you will land on this red landing platform right here. This is not a start-stop finish platform, so you can overshoot this red platform as long as you make contact with it and move uh, forward past the plane. You will have a completion of this obstacle. Alex? Incidental contact on the pillar there is perfectly fine. If you need to grab on it to hold yourself up, perfectly fine. We're not worried about that. Um, just want to make sure that everyone knows that is uh, in play as well. Then, Going on to our next obstacle is going to be our Lachey Lane. Um, in this obstacle, the platform, red platform that Alex is standing on is your start platform. You will be able to utilize the PVCs, the uh, uh, bars that are in between, and then you'll be able to land right here on this green platform. This is a start and finish platform, so please make sure to stay on it and not overshoot it. 
The PVCs, just for future reference of the different courses, um, will have different orientations of where the PVCs are placed. So for the different age divisions, um, when you get on site, we will just show you what your different orientations of PVC placement are. Alex, please demonstrate. Thank you. All right, moving on to our next obstacle is going to be our sideways throws. For this obstacle, you'll be able to utilize um, all parts of the um, sideways throw here, here, and here for um, most divisions. There will be a possible of a couple divisions that will only be able to utilize the inside parts and we will have the outsides um, marked as out of play. But for most divisions, um, we will have them all in play when you get here on site. We will signify if your division has an out of play marker on the outside of those sideways. This is your start platform that Alex is standing on currently. Down over here, this red platform, race platform here, is your finish platform. Um, it is not the start platform for the next, but make sure when you do land on it that you do make sure you come past the completion of it and not just step back and come this direction. Your next start platform for the following obstacle is over here, so you can make your way there however you want, but I would say make sure you finish past the start uh, the start plane here and make your way. Alex, demonstration please. <laughs> Moving on to our next obstacle is boot scoot. You will have this red start platform here. You'll be able to utilize just the black ring and you will have this finished platform here. Um, nothing really else to that other than having those. So Alex, give us a nice demonstration, please. Well done. This is a start and finish platform, so make sure you do not overshoot it. You have to stay on it for the next obstacle. Now, moving on to our next obstacle is going to be our attack here uh, is going to be our uh, quad step run. You will start on this red platform and be able to utilize all parts of these four uh, steps, and you will land on this blue platform. And also, I will consider this red platform also a part of the finished platform, just so you guys, if you come into it, whatever, it's perfectly okay to utilize both the blue and the red to finish this obstacle. This will then be considered a start and stop platform as you do not want to go forward. So you're gonna stay on the blue or red to finish this obstacle. Alex. Perfect. All right, moving on to our second to last obstacle. You will be able to utilize uh, the red starting platform here. And then you will see that we have um, a TikTok and a hexagon that are in play. So for different age groups, this hexagon will be utilized in different orientations and will have uh, possible in and out placements. We will tell you on site which uh, age groups will have what parts that are in play. So again, start platform, you'll be able to utilize the TikTok, the hexagon, and your finished platform will be this black box right here. This is also a start and finish platform, so please do not overshoot. Alex? Well done and complete. So moving on to our final obstacle of this flow course is going to be a cane slider. So depending on the age group um, that you are in or division, you will have a possible different use of cane. So we have lobster claws up there. We have some canes that have some slotted uh, or more forfeited uh, grips and then just a regular cane here. So depending on your age division, we will let you know what cane is going to be in uh, play for you. So this is again your start platform. You'll be able to utilize just the uh, canes. So on here, we are going to utilize the black 
um, part as what's in play. Again, if your finger's getting close, the referee will make the decision just to tell you, hey, move your finger back down. So um, please utilize that. Same with these canes. You have the black markings. That's where you'll be able to reach up to, nothing above that. And then on this cane, you'll see that there is a tape mark in which you'll only be able to go up to. So depending on your age group, we will, again, let you know which uh, part you're using. After that, you'll be able to utilize the canes across the track. That's going to make your way and land on this green finish platform. This is uh, just a finish platform, so you can overshoot it if you need. Just make sure that you do cross that uh, plane to complete the obstacle. And after you have finished this obstacle, you will move your way over to here, where you will hit the buzzer to signify a full clear of the flow course. All right, Alex, that's it. And clear. So that is the full course, um, flow course, um, course, and we want to wish you the best of luck and can't wait to see everyone compete.